Are you wondering how to find the perfect PhD supervisor? In this video, I'll share strategies for identifying and securing a supervisor who aligns with your research interests and academic goals. From researching potential supervisors to approaching them effectively, I'll guide you through the process of building a strong supervisory relationship. Let's get started. The second step is to find a supervisor who can help you and guide you in the uh, PhD program. Typically in Australian universities, you have uh, you get two uh, supervisors. One is the primary supervisor and se uh, the second is the second uh, uh, co-supervisor. Uh, sometimes it is also possible that you get an associate supervisor. An associate supervisor could be anybody uh, maybe outside of the university as well from some another university or even somebody, uh, someone who is an expert from the industry who may be uh, useful or provide some constructive uh, inputs in your research. So having a so supervisor, co-supervisor and a associate supervisor. So three uh, people can be uh, in, in your PhD panel. So how to search for a potential supervisor? So all universities in Australia have something called as the uh, register of supervisors or a supervisor registry, wherein you can search using uh, either your research topic or if you already know the name of the person, then you can directly search their name. But uh, on most occasions, you may not uh, know who is the supervisor that you want to work with unless they are very well known uh, and you already follow them. If not, then use the supervisor register uh, to find an ideal, find a suitable supervisor. Uh, keep in mind that their expertise should also align with your research proposal or your research goal. So whatever research you want to do, they should be able to guide you in that process and sometimes uh, it is a good idea to work with the supervisor in formulating your research proposal so i spoke about a research proposal in the last video uh, yesterday so do check that video as well if you want to uh, refresh on the uh, on how to make a research proposal and thirdly you need to make sure that they are available uh, as you can imagine uh, research, uh, academics are quite uh, busy with their uh, normal day-to-day -day duties like teaching, giving lectures, running tutorials, uh, managing the department and so on. So they may or may not be in a position to take a new PhD student because they may already have uh, some students that they are uh, currently supervising. So keep that in the uh, back of your mind as well. Uh, next is to contact potential supervisors. So email them, introduce yourself, your research interests, and inquire whether they are uh, available for super supervising uh, your research. <clears throat> and attach it, uh, your academic CV uh, with a brief proposal if possible. So if you have a proposal, I would suggest that you include it because that will uh, show the supervisor that you have already uh, started thinking about your research and uh, working towards it. 